Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 11th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. As I've been posting, it has been very busy, and we saw yet another moderate M class solar flare after last night's update. You can see that earth facing right in the equatorial region having a look at the last 48 hours incoming left hand side large m-class solar flare and as well a growing sunspot region firing away on the right hand side looking at outgoing imagery here this is where we saw the x-class solar flare and as well multiple cmes taking off from our sun last few images there you can see the most recent m-class solar flare occurring in the equatorial region of our sun multi-spectrum you can see is visible there and as well fast growing a sunspot region that is turning in multi-spectrum here this is where we can see building coronal hole in the southern hemisphere and as well Pretty sizable plasma filaments stretching across the surface in the northern hemisphere. So heads up, we could be seeing some filament eruptions here as well as the multiple solar flares that we've been seeing. The intensity of this cycle is quite intense. Right now, we have seven sunspot regions. Another look here at these sunspot regions in motion. And watching on the top left hand side, this is where you'll see a double sunspot region forming quickly it's two black hole regions spreading away from each other very complex sunspot region current space weather conditions we are under r2 radio blackout impacts are expected and as well solar radiation storm impacts level two and have been since last night solar winds picked right up to 577 kilometers per second solar x-ray flux remaining in a sea range right now after two M-class solar flares and an X-class the last 48 hours. Solar proton flex was right up into the S2 range. Bumped up again there, but it's coming down. Now let's have a look at our space weather prediction spiral, showing the most updated and recent CMEs that are coming our way. And we've got about three CMEs coming our way. All expected arrival starting on late into the 12th or yeah late into the 12th and 13th look at that multiple cmes in action taken off from our sun right at earth so solar storm impacts are expected and forecasted and as i said starting on the 12th then into the 13th and 14th that's where we'll see most of the solar radiation and solar storm iswa space prediction spiral showing the most recent cme lasco 3 very broad view of the cosmic energies leaving our sun amazing images there the last few right there those are the most recent cmes x class m class m class Heads up, everybody. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we're semi-busy. You're sitting at about 230 earthquakes across the USGS. Starting out here with the most recent 4.7 in the Philippines. And you can see straight down into the Banda Sea, 4.4s and 4.6s. 4.2 there, northern Indonesia. 5.0 magnitude earthquake here at Myanmar. And as well, deep earthquake here reported. Northern Mariana Islands, Marianas Trench, 4.2, very deep for the region. And as well, pretty deep earthquake. This is the last, the deepest the past 24 hours, 521 kilometer depth, 4.1 there in between Japan and Russia. Something is brewing there. So heads up, Japan. Quiet across the southwest Pacific right now, only reporting the 5.0. No deep earthquakes in the region. 
Things have quieted down across the Hawaiian island too. You gotta wonder what's up there. 4.3 here reported in Nikolskoy, Alaska. And as well, a 4.0 magnitude earthquake today reported west of Vancouver Island. Off the coastline, but probably about 100 kilometers or 100 kilometers off the coast. Activity and sizable activity coming back to Puerto Rico there. 3.7 range into 3.9. And the largest earthquake today, 5.4 magnitude in Velenor, Chile. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. A quick glance at the last seven days for shakers. And we're seeing these deep earthquakes come back into our regular occurrence. What we haven't seen come back into the regular occurrence are the large earthquakes. So something is brewing. Heads up, everybody. If you live in an earthquake-prone zone, please just be ready and have a plan. Interesting activity all across the Mediterranean there, through the Indian Plate. And the deep earthquakes, uh, Russia, Western Indonesia, and of course that very notable and rare 5.7 earthquake reported Hawaii this week. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast. Big eruption coming out of South America around Peru. There are two active volcanoes through the region, Uluan and as well Sabancaya. And notable SO2 particulates coming out of the Aleutian Islands today as well. So Alaska seeing volcanic activity. Showing here the SO2, the sulfur dioxide forecast. Things are clearing up across Russia. A big high pressure ridge has moved in and that is going to help fuel and push down all of those very cold temperatures. Not much to report here except quite a bit of SO2 coming out of the Philippines still from one of their volcanoes most recent eruptions. And then a quick look here over looking Africa and Europe and the Atlantic Ocean. Now let's get to the weather forecast. Brought to you by Windy.com, mixed here with daily events worldwide. Starting out here in Europe, as the systems start to move in, watch for an intense one heading through the eastern Mediterranean. Long-range forecast, 17th into the 18th. Watch two more low-pressure systems come in, and one very big, strong system heading up into Iceland. The long-range forecast. Overlooking North and South America. Got a Gulf low sweeping eastward and up the eastern seaboard of the United States. And by the time it hits the Atlantic provinces in Canada, it will be a winter storm. And then an Alberta clipper moves in after that and another low moves in for Ontario. Long range forecast looking cold and snowy for most of Canada. As the polar vortex is swinging around. Interesting systems there off the coast of the United States. Going to be keeping an eye on those for the long range. And Australia, Southeast Asia. No major typhoons or cyclones, but still some pretty strong low pressure systems. One specifically over in Northern Territory of Australia, and as well a couple others moving through the South Indian Ocean. So, Heads up, Northern Territory of Australia, you do have a pretty strong low coming your way, not quite a cyclone forecasted yet. Let's give you a quick look here and leave you looking at the Pacific Ocean and long atmospheric river of moisture forecast here. Heading up and getting sucked up into a big low, heading towards Alaska. Winter storms will be prevalent in the long range for all of Alaska and northern BC. So stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.